you hear this? I'm sure you hear this. Um, th this is not because it's Hollow Weekend. This is actually every every weekend living in this and living on the um, the floor that I live on. Great. Um, hi, <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Trisha Fuerte, and this is Fuerte Body. This is our fifth. Wow five Fuerte body breaks in a row and I definitely needed Fuerte body break um I'm happy to report I'm feeling less loopy than yesterday side effects are subsiding uh, I have some wonton finishing some wonton soup and I have some ginger ale my favorite my mom's favorite too um and I just got back from hear full-on conversations all the time um i just got back from contemporary dance class i love contemporary dance i love dance but contemporary is easily my favorite genre um if i were to do any type of dance forever it would be contemporary uh i love a good choreo i would love to be a backup dancer someday um but contemporary is just so, yeah, I have such a bias. It's so beautiful, emotional, and reminds me of like the true reason why I fell in love with dance, being able to communicate a story with my body, emotions with my body that I don't have the words for. Um, truly, truly, I, I love. Um, and this one was really special because it was our final day with this piece. This is my first um, class where we've worked on a piece for four weeks. I love choreo classes where we come in and, and like every class it's a different combo and we learn it in that hour and then we film it and then we come back and then we learn a new combo. It's been really helpful for my memorization um and it's super fun super fun super fun but i have been eager to just live in a piece for longer um live in the song longer uh really play with the story that we're telling and so we've been working on this piece for four weeks it's moonlight room by umi um and the class is an hour and a half as opposed to an hour as opposed to a 45 minute class. So not only is the class longer, but we worked on this piece for four weeks. So technically today was like performance day. <laughs> uh, and I'm so excited to start a new piece next week. Um, love this class. Um, and uh, my classmate did record one of our group rounds. So I do have footage of me doing this one. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, but I'll watch it. Maybe you'll see it as a short. Um, I'm also working on a long form just dance montage um, to show my dance journey. I have like my my dance video folder on my phone has like over a hundred videos and so I want to do a long form video without me talking and it's just like you see the progress. I think that's gonna be really beautiful and I'm excited to work, also work on a video long-term. I haven't done uh, that type of video in a while where like I'm continuously working on it. Um, so we'll see, maybe you will see tonight's piece as a short uh, or my TikTok, um, but sometimes I, I don't feel called to share it, not because I'm not happy with my progress, but sometimes, you know, I'm like, I'm just gonna keep this one to myself. Um, Again, I think it, that just comes from, like, practicing the healthy online creator boundaries. Like I was talking about in the other Fuerte Body Break about showing my space. I say, as you see, another, <laughs> another, another type of background. Look at my, there's my matcha, matcha la, iced matcha latte mixed towel. And then that's actually, um the giving tree book cover but it's um an author rewrote the ending and it says the the giving tree like if it's at boundaries <laughs> so speaking of boundaries um i really love look that up 
look that up like alternate ending giving tree um really beautiful i like cried when i read that because i've always loved that that book actually but i think when that alternate ending one came out it's like a really important time <laughs> for me um definitely in my 20s when i read that um it's also so important to continue these four to body breaks and i'm more determined to um continue to use it to throw in um amplifying the liberation of palestine i really admire how i'm seeing other online creators like finesse the algo rhythm um by continuing to post what they uh what their platforms are i guess niched as um whether that be um general education stuff and commentary or um like sewing but people are using it and like throwing in the middle of their content um just like unwavering support for palestine so i want to continue to do that here especially because on instagram i'm definitely definitely getting shadow banned um, <laughs> want to space out the closed captioning for these uh <laughs> seo words um I used to get like on an average like around like like being like the 300s maybe like high 200s for like a regular day story but since I've been actively advocating for Palestine um I'm like now now every day I'm like it's like 40s 50s 60s 67 today if I was lucky but then I also said today, I mean, if if those 50 or 60 people are mobilized from it, um, I think I said it in another four to body break, like it has um, given me a little bit of hope, like to see people that I follow, like who weren't posting last week, posting this week. Um, we have to continue to go harder, um, especially as of today. Um, Israel cut off communication and the and inter internet access in Gaza like that's like that's that's just horrific like there's no communications like the journalists cannot cover what's going on there um let alone like communications of like aid being sent out like all of it everything stories um it's just that's that it's horrific and it's also horrific to continue to see people not be outraged thank goodness i was talking to my mentor today who is outraged with me as always um and affirms my outrage and shares it with me but yeah to see like fellow educators fellow social workers just like continue like how how are we how are we supposed to continue to like be in our offices follow a lesson plan like like continue programming like while while a while a genocide is happening before our eyes um and to see people um just continue to like post anything else but free palestine it, they're making it really they're it's it's made easy for us y'all there's education being given to us there are, is information being given to us and instructions being given to us by the people of palestine and by organizers to amplify them to amplify their voices and their stories and to demand a ceasefire and to demand um aid in to gaza and to demand the u.s to stop aiding israel's army <sighs> i just like i'm really disappointed in a lot of like a lot of people who i thought were were my friends especially like in the field um 
yeah it's hard it's hard but yeah and then like to see to see artists that you thought were your faves just not align with you um <coughs> sorry um And like, <laughs> what, what, what is truly happening? You know, you're absolutely on the wrong side of history. If she and the devil's um, fast fashion company um, is denouncing Israel. <laughs> um, but, but some of my favorite artists that I support their art. Um, and some of my fellow social workers and educators are are not just silent, but actively posting about their day, posting about anything else but but Palestine. It, it's um, yeah, there's if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. It, like, I, I have absolutely no problem disconnecting with people who are not explicitly um, publicly vocal about um, the liberation of Palestine. I, I can't forget, <laughs> I can't forget this moment. Um, and I don't think I'll ever forgive. Yeah. Um, if you're a Fuerte friend, uh, one, you're one of the 1,031 Fuerte friends, um, you should be outraged. Um, and if you are, I am... I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. And we will go harder. Um, if you're in New York, there is a Brooklyn March tomorrow. And then once again, I'm putting resources um, in the description. I'm going to find more and then update all the previous descriptions as well. Um, they're saying to to focus to focus on the spreading of information and the demanding for ceasefire and aid into Gaza and um the and and for the U.S. to stop aiding Israel's military. Um, so there there is a really cool resource that I found today. Um, has like it's really easy to find like who your representatives are there are templates so I'm gonna add that to this one and again go back and add it to the other Fuerte body breaks yes please do that um, and then once again I am going to the March on Washington on November 4th um, I've asked a couple people to join me and my buddy Regina um, haven't got rallied more friends but i hope to um if you're going let me know if you're going from from new york city um let me know but they also they have um they have buses in other other states too i saw that so look into it look into it um because we're needed there we need to we need to get our asses to the white house and make our voices heard we need to go the the time to go fucking hard is now y'all kick and scream um but once again today i had two calls two zoom zoom appointments with students and they really did <laughs> they really did um lift my spirit so i if you are one of my students and you met with me on Friday, October, I always forget, October 27th, um, you ever find this, um, you really, you really made my day and you really, uh, yeah, you really reminded me to keep going. Um, I'm going to make this shorter. So this horrible, um, frustrating day, but that, that did have some pockets of peace 
um, just to just to close it out and get some more rest. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be with my god sister and my sibling, uh, so be with family. That'll be nice. Um, but I, as promised, I am going to do my affirmation of the day. It's my affirmation jar. Um, so our affirmation of the day. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is this is an art one, a theater one, really. Um, it says, no matter how big or small the production, I love every opportunity I get to create art that is meaningful and fun. Um, I guess that, it could, that could apply to non-theater also. I consider this, this a production, the Fuerte Body Breaks. Um, they're really needed um, and they are meaningful. And it, it is fun. Uh, and I'm grateful that it's part of my story. I hope I hope you're grateful for them too. I see there's a consistent three likers on the past four Fuerte Body Breaks. I feel like they're the same Fuerte Friends. So that feels that feels good. Like if I it's as if I'm sitting with the th same three friends every day and checking in um if that is you um uh, you've watched all well five now um hi thank you and also put put your four to body break check in anything you want to check in about anything you want to share an affirmation a highlight of your day low light of your day um these four to body breaks are for for you too um yeah um so continue please look at the resources in the description again call your representatives continue to amplify especially because they got off the internet uh be outraged uh go harder please thank you and i will see you tomorrow i will see you tomorrow i will see you tomorrow <laughs> All my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte, and this is Fuerte Body. Cheers. Bye.